Happy Halloween everyone! It's Yamoto Geek and thank you for joining me today. I am going to be showing you how to find the elusive necker or maybe even two and show you what happens when two of them are in a room together uh, as well as how to find the bristly crakes and oh look at him isn't he cute so cute he's ugly sorry I got sidetracked there Anyways, we're gonna go find the bristly crakes, the some little spiders, and uh, where to go. So, I decided to spice up my room here in Monster Hunter World Iceborne in the Selena Gathering Hub, just so I could share it with you guys as well as all my friends. I decided to uh, Make it a little festive, maybe turn my tablecloth into something cheese looking, you know, dress up my cat, even get my boyfriend Tricky into the whole Halloween theme. So as you can see, everything's kind of decorated all nice, very snazzy, very dark. Bedspread, and I got some little gourds there, look, some little pumpkins, a pumpkin outfit. Pumpkin outfit is very, very important, by the way, for hunting these things. It is a must-have, guys. So I'm going to show you that real quick. Um, first, we do have to build it, so I have to hop down to the armory. He built one as well. It's very easy. You get the tickets uh, for the Halloween event. And you just go there and look at that. Voila! I look like a pumpkin. And here's the head, shirt, arms, whatever is skirt, pants, ish. And that's the completed outfit. Snazzy, hey? We love to think we look like this, but in all actuality, we probably look like this. That's okay though. Everybody loves pumpkins at this time of year. Pumpkin spice latte, anyone? Of course I have to dress up my hammer because she's got a Halloween as well. So we picked a little Chun-Li outfit for her and had to go get my popo from Horfrost so I could ride it around a little bit, show you guys where to get these scavantulas. So that's first on the list. So those are just located in the rotten, normally hiding out in bone piles in this little area where the Rotobahn likes to hang out. Um, and then we got the bristly crepes here. These guys are very, very hard to catch. You have to make sure that you're prepared. So this is the net and the ghillie mantle, because look what happens. <gasps> Ooh, I found a bristly crepe. And this is in the guiding lens. Ooh, look, 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 look. I don't have anything prepared. Oh my god, oh my god. Ah, he looked, ah, he went away. Look at him, teasing me. He's like, ha ha, toodaloo. So anyways, we're going to try it again. This is in the Rotten near Camp 11. They show up near Camp 1 also, but again, Ghillie Mantle on. I have my capture net ready to go this time. I have had to do this a few times over, but as you can see in the Rotten, he likes hanging out on the pig for some reason. Don't know why. So, there he is, hopping on the back of the pig. The pig was not very happy with me, of course, when I threw the net at it, but whatever. We're good to go. And then there's some more spiders. So these guys you can find in the ancient forest or the wild spire, basically. Anywhere where you see spider webs on the map to go get, and you see the spiders going across just like that, you just go in the middle, aim, and fire your net. Your net. And you got your little collection of spiders. Perfect for your Halloween theme. Now, back to the hut. I've got to warm up a little bit. It's all chilly and stuff at this time of year. Um, we are going to go hunt for the Neckers next. Now, for anybody that hasn't gotten past HR 16, you need to do that before you can actually get the Neckers, because you have to do the Witcher um, quest. And this is fighting the Leshen. So. We are going to just go open the map, pop into the ancient forest. It's very important that it's nighttime, it's clear, 
and there's a great Jagras in the area. Now, the reason why is the great Jagras, he's a little bit of a pig, he gets the nighttime munchies, and he's like, oh man, I just need to go and get myself an apoptopy. So there he goes, he's like, I'm gonna get the biggest one. Oh no, no. He swallows the thing down. Look at him, he's such a pig. Oh. Opens his jaw wide for that. Oh. And then, you know, it's like when you eat turkey dinner and you have too much turkey, and then you're wandering around and you're like, oh, man, I don't know why I ate so much turkey. I'm just gonna fall asleep after. Uh, I should have gotten half the food I did, but you know, when you're hungry and you're hungry and you always put too much food on your plate, that's always me. That is why I cannot fit in my Halloween costume this year. Anyway, he got sick. He's like, oh man, I'm sick. Well, let's recycle everybody. I'm going to regurgitate my meat, share it with my buddies, and then little pepper appears. Look at that. Got him. He's like, no, you cannot have that meat. That is for the great no mini Jagras. So, go back to the room, put him in there, the necker is all pissed off because I was like, oh, you can't have your meat. And he's like, I want my meat. And then I was like, I want beer. And he's like, I want beer too. He couldn't have my beer. He's all my angry. Little hangry, hangry neckers. So there you go, guys. And that is how you catch these neckers. Um, I will be putting up more videos on how to catch certain pets, more rare pets times of day, methods, that sort of thing. Uh, hopefully in the next episode I'm going to go into the guiding lands and go into how to get these little headbangers. So my favorite, my volcano moles. Uh, where to find them, how to do them, etc, etc. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Halloween and uh, if you like, subscribe, don't forget, follow me and uh, look for more episodes. So, yep. Yeah. Yay. Have a great day, guys. Bye for now.